Rick! Yay! The fire! Please don't let it consume me. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dates, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Quite early in the morning. I guess I wasn't very tired last night as I uh, went to Sweepy Sweep. That's okay. We'll figure out something to do, right? I sure hope so. Um, it looks like some of these vegetables are sprouting. So that's pretty cool. Well watered. Excellent. I do want to find some more stuff for the uh, tea party and some more guests as well. I also had a pretty cool suggestion that I could use a pallet as like a doll sized table. So I think that's something that I'm going to be looking for today and I know precisely where I might find one uh, near the restaurant base. I remember leaving one out there so that should be pretty helpful. Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to be picking up uh, dollars. Yeah, I want to pick up some money. <laughs> That's going to help me for some reason that I uh, can't quite discern yet. That's what I want. It's all I want. How's my weight? Carry capacity is getting up there. I do have quite a bit. And uh, I am hungry, so I'm going to eat some gum. <laughs> because that's healthy. Get that sucrose in ya in the, in the morning or whatever. Oh wait, it's the afternoon. What the fuck? My brain is just uh, on on another level, I guess. <laughs> How did I sleep so late? What happened? Oh god. I think it was because I, I started up Project Zomboid and then I alt-tabbed so I could uh, learn a little bit on the wiki about how to make a Molotov cocktail because I do have that house uh, with the oven that's on and I want to end up burning it down. Not, you know, maliciously or anything, just just for funsies. Just for funsies. Don't worry. What up, buddy? Not scared about smashing this window. This gas station's compromised. It been compromised. There's nothing in here anyways. I looted it up pretty good. Oh, what's that? Salmon? I'll take some salmon. Salamon! And then I can cook. It will be so delicious. Yeah, we looted this place pretty good. Could burn down the gas station. That might be kind of fun. Uh, but the answer to my query about how to create a Molotov cocktail was actually, you need a full bottle of whiskey. You can't just fill a bottle up with gas, which doesn't make much sense to me, to be quite frank. But, um, yeah, I guess that's okay. Whatever. It be what it be. Got some coffins, a bunch of rotten food outside. I'm really a fan of just storing things on the floor. <laughs> I didn't realize how useful you could be, Floor. Thank you so much. And that graffiti out in the back is still glowing for some unidentified reason. Well, let's uh, have a look around, see if we can find some whiskey bottles. Whiskey bottles! I'm gonna get a couple of them. Just, just in case I decide that I really like the Molotov cocktails. I can play with them. And it seems I did a pretty good job of picking up the ones that I was able to find. Probably because it's whiskey. Can't just leave that. What, what, what do you think? You can just leave that around? That's important. That's good stuff. Hmm. But where did I put that sock? I could just rip up some, like, the sweater that I have or something like that. That could work. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I dropped my sock somewhere, and I can't quite remember. <laughs> I can't quite remember. Well, let's fill up, um, fill up some of this cabinet space. Oh, rotten nacho cheese. That's no good. I guess I'll put that out in the back. I'll put it out in the back. I'll eat this orange, because if I slice it, it's going to make me even more unhappy. It will fill up more health, but it's also going to make me super unhappy. Vitamins, trowel, probably need to take some vitamins, yeah. That's good for you. That's healthy, huh? Well, I have two things of vitamins, whatever. I'll stuff them in here. Probably end up looking for them later. That's alright. I'll totally remember where they are. Probably. Not really. <laughs> Pack a pop. We don't need to store that in the fridge. 
that can all go right here. And what's so heavy here? I'm gonna get this baseball bat going. That seems like a good idea since the one I have is just about to break. Hmm. And that seems about it as far as uh, things that I want to stash. I guess I'll stash that gun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These take nine millimeters, so I think that's the correct ammo. But I'm not really sure. I'm not really like a gun guy, you know? <laughs> have I shot a gun? Yes. Do I know what I'm doing with a gun? Mm. Not, not particularly. <laughs> I, I ain't no gun expert. There we go. Jar nacho cheese in my giant trash pile. And you can see it says nacho. Nacho cheese. So when those zombies come, we'll be like, hey, this ain't for you. Uh, let's see. I'll rip up this blouse. That seems like a good idea. And I can make some Molotovs, no? Maybe? Uh, make Molotov. Hell yeah. One, two, three. Three little Molotovs just for me. You can have your blouse back. I'm sorry this happened to you. <laughs> Strip her naked and then dress her again. I'm such a decent man. Although I did dress her in rags. Looks like she was a victim of some sort of molestation. I'm gonna leave this guy with the Remington. I should just pick it up and carry it back into the house, but... Ain't hey, nobody got time for that. I also would really like to burn down this giant building. But I gotta keep my word. There was one that I had my eye on, so, um... Yeah. That's what we gotta do. And then I'll swoop around this way, grab that pallet, wherever it may be. Oh, look! We probably need some more pallets. That is a tiny, tiny table. Well, I'll keep my eye out, I suppose. It could be good. I don't know. And, uh, yeah. I think, like, four pallets would be perfect. Maybe even more than that, because I'm planning on adding to the tea party. Everybody's going to join the tea party. Boom. My uh, tea party videos were demonetized by YouTube, I guess because they assumed that it was like, uh, you know, the conservative tea party, lower taxes and all that kind of stuff. I don't really... <laughs> Why you hate tea party, YouTube? <laughs> what the fuck? So that's uh, one nickel of monetization that I won't be seeing. <laughs> But that's fine. I don't do this for the monies. And if I did do it for the money, I would have quit a long time ago. Because, uh, yeah. I don't make much. Maybe once a year? Once every year and a half, I'll get a check a, a check from YouTube. I'll be like, okay, cool. That's a nice little bonus I can waste on video games. Or, uh, my child now. My wife is pregnant. Which I'm quite excited for. A little bit terrified, but also quite excited. It's gonna be such a nice thing. But I gotta start saving up uh, some some dinero. You know what I mean? Get that baby crib and all this. So um, that's that's a priority at the moment. <sighs> Let's find all this money. I want to see how much money I can collect and just pile it onto a shelf, even though it's probably not gonna end up looking like money once I'm done. Credit card? That's not money. Fuck off! Fuck off with that! Pennies? Pfft. I don't bother with that shit either. Appliance repair manual. I guess I read that already. Oh, I'm kind of exerted, so I'm not able to kill this guy so quick. But that's fine. Appliance repair manual. What do you teach? Dismantle appliances. Treadmill is also spelled wrong. Treadmill. T-R-E-D. That's how uh, my five-year-old daughter spells things. <laughs> Mike, sound it out, baby. Uh, T-R-E-D. No, there's an A in there. Why? Because English is fucked up. Her birthday is actually coming up. I think uh, maybe a day or two before this episode comes out. That gonna be her birthday. It's gonna be so exciting. She's so sweet, too. Like, uh, ask her what she wants for her birthday, and she's like, uh, fried chicken and spaghetti. I'm like, no, you want, like, a Barbie or something? She's like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a dress. <laughs> it's 
like, okay, good. Good. You're frugal. Like your old man. I like that. Uh, except the cake. She asked for, like, a fucking crazy cake. She said, I want a mocha cake on the bottom, and then a chocolate fudgy bar on top of that, and then on top of that, some cupcakes, and then frozen. Frozen on the very, very top. Little, like, uh, you know, those push pin whatevers you put in a cake. Do people do that? I guess they do. If you're, if you're a five-year-old, she's gonna be six. Aw, they grow up so fast. She's so adorable because she ain't got no teeth, you know? She got, like, all the front teeth are missing, so she just has little teeth on the side. Looks like a little vampire. And I got so sad when, uh, I saw, I saw her front teeth are growing, and I'm like, aw, that makes me so sad. Why this happened? Oh, saw a window break over there. Need to get this fucking fire started. I hope it doesn't burn down, like, a bunch of houses. I basically just wanted to burn this one, and also, uh, experiment. Let's experiment! Mm -hmm. Gotta equip lighter, equip molotov. Now I'm a little overweighted, but I think that should be okay. As long as I don't bump into a zombie immediately. Okay, we fine? Good. Rick! Yay! The fire! Please don't let it consume me. I want to switch to my, <laughs> my what you call it, back to the bat, there we go. It seems to be burning pretty slow, I don't think I'm in too much danger, not yet anyways. It's taking its sweet time. Alright, get the bat going, make sure there's nobody sneaking up on me. And this house is full of zombies, so I'll be glad to see it go. <laughs> I said I was going to take the stuff out of the fridge or whatever, but I just got super excited. I had a Molotov in my hand. I couldn't I couldn't not throw it. Oh my god, this ass is on fire! Are the zombies evacuating? Are they smart enough? Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this here. This one gonna go. <laughs> It's uh, outside the house now. Oh, be careful. Be careful, Dayton. Don't get too close to that fire. Oh, there's a zombie. She's on fire. Oh, God. She's going to light the tree on fire? Is it? Is it going to happen? Got to watch behind me, too. Oh, she's spreading the fire around. Okay, no, bitch. Bitch, bitch, please no. Just uh, keep it near here. All right? Is that going to be okay? Is there another, uh, burning zombie over here? I'm so excited. Look at it. Look at it all! It's going to the dining room now! Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so glad. It's probably going to consume this whole house. But, uh, I hope it doesn't get much further than that. Because if I burn a whole neighborhood down, I'm going to feel really shitty. I'll feel not very smart. Now the stairs are burning. There's a zombie. Broke her legs, probably jumping out of the window to get away from the fire. Or do zombies like fire? I mean, I was reading on the wiki that fire will attract zombies, like if they see a campfire or something like that. But then in uh, Night of the Living Dead, which is a film that I've done a commentary for, if you haven't seen that, Dayton does, Night of the Living Dead. We can spend uh, an hour and a half together. Listen to me ramble. <laughs> um, yeah, they hate fire in that movie. And the only reason I did a commentary for that movie is because it's like public domain. It's old and shit. So it don't really matter. Although I have gotten quite a few uh, attempted copyright strikes. I combat those shits. I'm like, let me educate you in copyright law, motherfuckers. I'm feeling a little hungry again. Let's just see how the fire's doing in here. Oh yeah, front door, all burnt up. I think it's gonna keep going. Isn't it? I must observe. I must observe! I'm just so excited for my creation. My little baby fire! Okay, let's be careful, walk in here. Oh, there's another burning zombie. 
<laughs> I'm also getting a little hungry. We got some, some food around here. Dangerous uncooked. Why? That's sushi, bro. You don't like salmon sushi? Nah, I hate it. Why do you hate it? Because I hate it. Because I don't like it. Oh, oh, burning zombie. Burning zombie! <laughs> I like how you can't see the fire unless you look at her. Look at her burn. Okay, come through the trees. Come through the trees! Uh-oh. That tree's burning. <laughs> oh, boy. We've done quite a thing here. <laughs> I might end up burning half the neighborhood down. Oh, God. It looks like that tree survived, though. And that zombie ended up dead. I don't know how long it takes them to uh, to burn away into nothing. But yeah, those those trees are getting set on fire for sure. They're way too close to not be consumed. Consumed by flame. And uh, it'll be kind of nice. I'm taking bets on uh, what part of the house will be left after the fire's done burning. <laughs> I'm tempted to go sit on that chair. And then it'll be like that meme, you know? This is fine. <laughs> My house is on fire. This is fine. I gotta watch this fucking window. Even as I rest, they might come for me. Moderate exertion. We're taking a break. This isn't stressful at all. <laughs> if the fire comes this way, I'm gonna jump out that window. If it's a choice between uh, getting burned by fucking fire or cutting myself a little bit, I, I think I'll choose to cut myself. It's fine. I've got plenty of first aid supplies. Looks like the glass is removed from that window anyways. So we'll be okay. Everything's great. Look at how awesome it is in here. <laughs> yep, this is my heating system. Uh, electricity went out? No, it didn't. But we're just going to say that it did for the sake of the joke. Oh god, the table's being consumed. Oh god, there's the chair. Alright, bye. <laughs> we're rested up enough. <laughs> I'll see you later. Yep, it's it's in the kitchen. Oh, it's in the laundry room. It's everywhere. It can come through that wall at any time, so... I hope that the staircase stays up so I can go see the damage that it did upstairs as well. That would be quite nice. I've got a few more Molotovs left. What if I went and burnt them all down? Would that be like the stupidest thing I've ever done? <laughs> In Project Zomboid, yes. Probably the stupidest thing that I've ever done. But also, a lot of fun. So we know how to make smoke bombs, we know how to make Molotovs. We're fucking badasses, dude. I got all this shit that I could throw. Why can't I pack away my Molotovs? Hello? Gotta stop resting. That's something that you can do while you're sitting down. You can also take a sip from the Molotov. <laughs> oh, delicious. Is that lightning outside? Oh yeah. We got some rain. Rain, bring the pain. Alright. Uh, cook this salmon up. That seems like a good idea. Doesn't it? Maybe. Turn on? Yeah, okay, it's cooking. Alright, we're good to go. I just can't forget that it's uh, cooking and everything's gonna be fine. Bike repair manual. I've read, like, all of this, I do think. I know everything. I can read the phone book. Why does it increase boredom? I could think of lots of fun stuff to do with the phone book, man. You could, like, make up little stories based on their name. You know? Wouldn't that be fun? Like, this dude named Brandon Dayton, and then he like uploaded videos on YouTube and shit, and then like one day he died. Um, how do you think I'll die? I don't know, heart failure probably. <laughs> I think that's a good bet. It could be just be old age. One day he fell asleep and died. That would be the, uh, the nicest thing. That's what I hope for. Oh, it is raining. That means it's gonna put the fire out. Why you do this, Project Zomboid? I was just trying to have some fun. Just trying to have some funsies and y'all can't let me do it. I don't understand. 
I kind of want to stay up all night. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be nice? We could do some night fishing. We could do some night swimming. Night swimming deserves a quiet night. Thank you, thank you. We are REM. That stands for really enjoys masturbating. <laughs> okay, we're almost done here. Cook it up, cook it up. Pipe it up, uh, pipe it up, uh. There we go. Now I can eat half of this. I'll save the other half. Oh, oh. Actually, I'm gonna eat it all. It says it's burning. Oh, it's a little burnt. That's okay. I like it regardless. Get it well done. Well done! I suppose I should check on my, uh... How my path of destruction went. Is it still... Hmm. It seems the fire is out. And the stairs are still intact. Oh god. I shouldn't do this in the dark. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back in the daytime. Thank you so much. Goodbye. All these windows are busted out. I don't really want to go into those houses. Wah! But, uh, yeah, the Molotov turned out okay. The fire didn't spread as quickly as I expected it to. I was pretty scared that it would burn down half the neighborhood, but... After I saw it burning for a little bit, I'm like, Oh, this, this is fine. Everything's okay. I even tried to spread it to some uh, additional trees. Oh, this is that, uh... That safe house or whatever. I guess I let all the zombies out. There's a broken window there, too. Wham! These zombies get more plentiful at night? Huh? Y'all plotting on me? Huh? Oops. <laughs> I missed. I think I'm so sneaky. And then I just come up behind somebody and miss. That's not good. How's my, uh, my skills doing? Oh, that's pretty nice. Blunt accuracy, that's, that's gonna take forever. Absolutely forever. Oh, and we broke 2k zombie kills. Hell yeah. Doing it, doing it. Favorite weapon, aluminum bat. Really, it's the wooden bat. But I guess the aluminum bat lasts the longest, so... If I see another one, I need to start picking those up instead of the regular... Regular ass baseball bats. These shit's boring, man. And they don't last that long. I've almost broken this one already. Maybe the higher your accuracy gets, the uh, the more bats you need or something like that. Oh, there's plenty of food in here. I'll take some Chardonnay. Oh, uh, or popping Chris. Oh, got some Cristal. Oh, uh, got some Hennessy. Oh. Uh. If I keep this popsicle, is it gonna melt on me too? The ice cream melts. I wonder what the popsicle would do if it melts. Oh, look at this watermelon! Delicious watermelon! I could slice it up, and it's gonna make me super bored if I eat it. So uh, I'll just put that back in there. <laughs> I didn't mean this, I'm sorry, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll go home. It's almost midnight. I don't want to have another uh, no good, terrible day where I wake up in the afternoon. That's a, a sign of heavy depression. You know what I mean? That's no good. You don't want to be depressed in the zombocalypse. We're supposed to be having fun! Oh, he's got a dollar bill. Give me this. Five doll hairs. Very nice. I'm just gonna kill, kill a couple more. Spring cleaning, you know how it goes. All these zombies in my neighborhood. Now you're dead now. Oh, the the Duke? You probably checked that. That's where I got some whiskey bottles from before. Maybe. Ah, uh, it's been a long time since I've been home. I kind of forgot. I'm just basically assuming that I uh, cleaned out most of the useful stuff. Now's where the game gets interesting, isn't it? Because you gotta remember stuff. <laughs> Did we go here? Did we go there? I don't know. Did we? What the fuck? 
Lights off, lights on. Okay. The lights are on in here. Electricity's still going. Water's still going. Didn't need to water my plants today because it's uh, quite a rainy season, isn't it? What month is it? It's October. Ooh, it's almost Halloween in Project Zomboid Land. So we need to find a spooky mask. Hopefully we can find a, a doctor's outfit. That's not very spooky. Unless he's a killer doctor. Woohoo! <laughs> Anyways, friends. I'll see you tomorrow in the morning. Expect a bit longer episode in the next one. Sorry for the short length of this one. I uh, kind of dropped the ball there. And I take uh, extreme responsibility. But I, I, I hope you'll forgive me. That's all. <laughs> I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe as well if you did enjoy this episode. I really love Project Zomboid, and uh, yeah, it's fun coming up with some some new creative ideas now that we've got the uh, the basic essentials extremely covered. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be dying anytime soon as long as I avoid getting bitten by a zombie. So we'll play with some more Molotovs and do some more stuff tomorrow, and I hope you join me for it, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Project Zomboid, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.